Hey there and good afternoon traders. This is Trader Tim from eminimind.com. Today is the 28th of September, Thursday, doing a trade recap video. Wanted to uh, talk about a couple of uh, trades that occurred today and kind of uh, recap the week thus far. It's been uh, rather interesting uh, up here at this 2500 level on the uh, E-mini S&P. The markets have have kind of been off to a, a slow start each day. Uh, yesterday we had the the gap up and then sell off throughout the morning and then rallied back up into the close and then sold back off towards the end. Over on the uh, 512 chart here, if I pull back to yesterday, you can see pretty uh, definitive trend lower. And then uh, once we did uh, get down to just about Wednesday's low, or uh, Tuesday's low, rather. Uh, we didn't quite make it there. There was uh, you know, a little bit of buying that came in, and then we kind of drifted sideways, and then boom, uh, right you know, about midday, uh, the market just took back off uh, to the upside. So there's definitely this, you know, this lift by the bulls when the market does pull back, just like we saw at the hammer on the 25th, we've got buyers coming in. And today, uh, being another close, uh, just like yesterday, over the 2500 level has been very important. So now we have uh, one, two, three, four, five days, uh, I guess six days, closing above 2500, and uh, a couple of them now, three of them being positive days. So that's a strong, uh, strong incentive for more buyers to be coming in from here. We are very close to highs and we have that 2520 target just above us. So today I wanted to go through a couple of setups, uh, some trades that worked out pretty nicely here. I'll just go back here. I'll clear off my 512 chart and go back to the beginning of the day. And just like the the rest of the week, we kind of started off pretty slow and kind of formed a very, you know, a tighter sideways range. Uh, this morning, eh, about, uh, about 15 minutes in, uh, the markets made this little double top formation right here. Not an exact double top, but we got a, uh, a swing that was put in. So from the open, we had a couple of higher lows. And then about 15 minutes in, the market broke, about 25 minutes in, we broke that higher low and put in a lower low. And so it's at that point when we have the, the trend change, the break of the swing low, that we can draw up. So we had, first we had setups going in the long direction. And then uh, the first setup that I took this morning uh, from highs down to lows at the top of the hour uh, took us kind of down to the, the lows of the morning. Now you can see this little spike here. Uh, we only went in about a point, so it really wasn't a, a huge deal. Um, we call that kind of a dirty setup where the market uh, trades through the 618. The trade still works out, but you know you take a little bit of heat on the trade. No big deal with the six tick stop. Market bounced up to that 250275, and then we started to sell off once we broke the anchor point down here, that swing low, can start trailing our stop above each swing high. We made it to and then through the target, so you can take half off at the negative 23, and then trail the swings. There really wasn't much follow through after that, and so uh, getting out of the trade as the market turned around. Then the next setup, we uh, had trading hours only today from lows of the morning to highs of kind of the, the later morning. And it was kind of an interesting development. We had this big 15 minute trading hours only setup and the market first pulled back to that level. We were about a tick away, but uh, I consider that you know, filled. Uh, I didn't take the blind limit because we were basically, um, 
you know, we had formed a swing low and a high. There was really no trend established uh, throughout the morning. You know, we were mostly moving sideways throughout the morning. We dipped into lows, then we dipped above highs. So rather than being overly aggressive, I wanted to let the market kind of show its hand first. So let the market come back down to trading hours only in anticipation of taking the first setup after that. Well, when we bounced, we bounced right up to the opposing short, and that traded. And so then you kind of get into this this waiting game where, you know, yes, there's a little long setup here that trades, and yes, there's even a little short setup here that trades, but I'm not so concerned about, you know, getting in at, at uh, a great 50% opportunity. I want to make sure that that 50% is very likely to have follow through. So uh, passing on these two little setups that are within this range bound between the 50 of the short and the 50 of the long, waiting for the one 618 to break. It doesn't really matter which one breaks, but in this case, it was the short that broke. And then drawing up the first setup after that gives us 2504.25. And that one kind of hung out for, oh, a good five, six minutes. At the, it was about 10 minutes actually, um, kind of came down to the 2504.50s, uh, bounced a little bit, kind of chopped around, again, you know, went in, took a little bit of heat, not really uh, much to write home about, three or four ticks, and then boom, went straight to the target. And so, you know, just by having a little bit of patience, trying to stay out of this chop, uh, you can end up with, uh, you know, some really good really good trades without you know those trades just being there to make up for losses that you had earlier in the day um, so we traded up to the target always taking half off at the the negative 23 percent target and then trailing swings on the way up and now in doing so you get a couple of interesting things that happened today get rid of this Drawing here, this one, clean up the chart a little bit. So when we break into a new high and then pull back and make another new high, that's an opportunity to tighten your stop, to trail the swing. The other opportunity is when we get this double top like this. So uh, market traded straight up to the negative 23, pulled back, made this double top when it does that. I'll, I'll use that, even though it didn't break highs, a, a double top like that is a potential for a reversal. So I want to use that as an opportunity to take my stop from minus 6, move it up underneath one tick below the next swing low. Then we pull back, broke into new highs. Then you can take your stop from that swing low, move it up underneath the current swing low, pull back, made a new high, pull back, made a new high, continue trailing the swing lows on the way up. Then we get another little double top up here and when we make that second top that's when I'll take my stop from the previous swing low and move it up underneath that current swing low and then that's what takes me out of the trade and so you can see in this case we had the uh, double top and then we came down and broke the swing low so a nice little um, change in trend that also gets us out of the original trade here from 2504.50s up until about, eh, it was about 7, 2507.25. Uh, then from there, since we broke the previous swing low, changing and changing trend, the opportunity to draw up the short. The market, uh, once again, kind of the pattern of today, being a little bit dirty, taking a little bit of heat on the trade. Uh, but, you know, three or four ticks is really not a big deal. Uh, market traded up to the 50% uh, and then sold off right to the negative 23. And same thing, you can trail these little swings on the way down, taking half off at the negative 23. That way you lock in profit. So when you do get taken out here above the swing, You've already locked in some profit. Sometimes the trail the the trail stops will be um, you know near the negative 23. Sometimes you'll get taken out just 
before the 23. Sometimes you'll be able to stay in a trade for, you know, hours just by trailing swings. A couple important things to note about this setup. Um, now, we didn't quite make it to the negative 23% target, or we didn't quite make it to the 50% on the first test. We, we touched 2506.75. So the 50% was a 688. You can round down to get to that 75, and then you can add a tick, and that way you get filled when it's an odd number like that. Rounding down and adding a tick gives you an opportunity to get into the trade uh, without it actually, you know, getting exactly to the price, which which happens sometimes. Um, and then in conjunction with that, not tightening your stop until the swing low breaks, until that anchor low breaks, leave it at minus six, and then you have the opportunity to stay in the trade, even if you get a little bit of, uh, you know, retesting or, or chopping around at the uh, the 50% and the 61.8 and, and that sort of thing. So, um, chopped around just like the rest of the trades did today, and then boom, sold off straight to the negative 23. And then uh, we were getting really close to the, uh, the end of the day here. And then you can see we broke the previous swing. So we had this series of lower lows, a lower high, lower low, and then we broke this lower high, and then boom, market went into a nice long, pulled back super cleanly right to the 50%, and then that took us into the close. So a lot of good trading opportunities are starting to um, kind of roll out here. Um, we've got room above us to go to that target, that 2520, only about 10 points away. So that's what I'll be looking for tomorrow, a breakout in the uh, the ES. Um, you know, if we don't break out tomorrow and we start selling off in the morning, I'd, I'd be looking for another kind of V reversal. I'd be looking for the bulls to push things back up because that's what they've been doing. You know, every time we've come up into these highs, you know, the bulls push us back up. We get these hammer formations, and um, we really don't dip too much uh, intraday before the bulls have been stepping in and, and lifting us higher. So uh, live trading again next week on Tuesday. You can check that out at eminimind.com VIP. I hope you have a great rest of your week, and we'll talk to you soon.